Hi everyone, in this video I am going to introduce two radar systems, those are MTI radar and pulse Doppler radar. Till now we have seen three more different radar systems like uh, pulse radar, later we have gone through CW radar and later we have also seen FMCW radar. Okay, when you are studying different types of radar systems, you should know what is the difference among the radar systems. Otherwise, it is very difficult to remember and even very difficult to draw the block diagrams. So, depending upon the operation of the radar system, the block diagrams are being defined. So, if you see the pulse radar system, you will be having a, a pulse transmitter in the transmitting section and in the receiving part, you will be having a complete super heterodyne receiver. In the CW radar, it's a continuous wave radar system where the CW continuous wave is transmitted and in the receiving section, yes, we are concentrating on the Doppler frequency shift. Only a mixing part is there in the starting homodyne mixer, transmitted signals and received signal. These two are mixed together, produces a bit frequency. That is the concept we have studied in the CW radar. Coming to the FMCW radar, it is going to, FMCW radar is originated to eliminate the drawback in the CW radar. Because CW radar is used to measure only velocity. So, to, uh, to add the parameter range also in the measurements, FMCW radar came into existence where in the transmitting section, we are transmitting a frequency moderated signal. In the receiving section, we are calculating the beat frequency that consisting of both uh, range frequency and as well as Doppler frequency. <coughs> so, in this way, different types of radar systems, we have seen three different types of radar systems we have studied in the previous videos. Now, in this video, I am going to introduce two more interesting radar systems. So, those are MTI radar and pulse Doppler radar. MTI. What do you mean by MTI? MTI is nothing but moving target indicator. Moving target indicator so MTI radar moving target indicator radar by seeing the name itself we can understand the purpose of this radar system is used to identify the moving targets not stationary targets okay stationary targets are being filtered by using this MTA radar. MTA radar is only concentrating on moving targets. It will not bother about the stationary targets. We are making the system like that. Okay. To eliminate the stationary targets and to indicate only moving targets when we are detecting the objects. Another th type of radar system in this uh, topic I am going to introduce that is pulse Doppler radar PDR. PDR is standing for pulse Doppler radar pulse Doppler radar see if you see the name pulse Doppler radar in the first starting topics of this radar system I have explained a radar system that is pulse radar now this radar system is pulse Doppler radar can you imagine what could be the difference between these two just before going into the topics, if you at least imagine, uh, you will be having some idea. Okay, this could be, this could be that there will be a chance of adding this much of information in the pulse Doppler radar compared to the pulse radar. If you know the difference like this, then at least you can uh, uh, draw the block diagrams on your own. Okay, see the pulse radar, what is the drawback of the pulse radar? Drawback drawback of the pulse radar see every radar system is originated because of the drawbacks of the previous radar systems remember that's why i am keep on saying the uh, previous uh, radar systems what i have explained so that you will be having the advantages of this radar system and the drawbacks of the previous radar systems so drawback of pulse radar is lack of doppler information lack of Doppler information the radar system pulse radar system it cannot pulse radar system cannot find 
what is the parameter we cannot find velocity so pulse radar system is used to find only range it cannot calculate velocity because of lack of doppler information we are not concentrating on the doppler information okay and if you see the CW radar and FMCW radar, why the CW radar is having a drawback? It cannot, it can measure velocity, but it cannot measure range. It cannot measure range. Range parameter we cannot calculate. Okay. But FMCW radar came into existence. It, it calculates both range and as well as velocity. So the drawback of CW radar can be eliminated by using FMCW radar. But how the pulse radar drawback can be eliminated? It can calculate range, but cannot calculate velocity. Velocity parameter cannot be calculated using pulse radar. So that elimination can be done by using this pulse Doppler radar. Pulse Doppler radar. So pulse radar, if you remove this Doppler information, then it's simply pulse radar. Normally pulse radar, what it operates, the same pulse radar we are taking. Now pulse Doppler radar, we are adding the Doppler information. That means we are using the same setup, whatever we are transmitting the pulse waveform, we are using the same setup and we are taking the Doppler information also in addition to the range information. Then we can calculate the velocity along with the range information. That means it, it, could, it becomes a pulse Doppler radar. Okay. So in pulse Doppler radar, in Pulse Doppler radar, Doppler information, Doppler information is being added to measure the velocity of moving targets. Because both the MTA radar and pulse Doppler radar are concentrating on the moving targets, definitely it should focus on the velocity of the target. Okay, definitely velocity is needed because it focuses on only moving targets. But whereas in the pulse radar, we are calculating, we are identifying the targets, those are stationary targets in pulse radar. But here MTA radar and pulse Doppler radar are concentrating on moving objects. So MTA and Pulse Doppler radar, both are working for both are working for moving targets. Moving targets. Okay, almost they will be having same and similar operation. At uh, one difference is there that is called blind speed. I will tell you in the coming videos what do you mean by blind speed. Okay. So one is suffering with the blind speed, another one is not having blind speed. I will tell you when we go into the individual topics like MTA and pulse Doppler radar. Okay, so till now what we have learned, MTA radar and pulse Doppler radar are nothing but used to detect the moving targets. So they can find the velocity of the moving targets. So pulse Doppler radar is originated from the drawback of the pulse radar. So pulse radar transmitter we are taking. The Doppler information is being added, then it becomes pulse Doppler radar. Now let us see what could be the block diagram of this pulse Doppler radar. See the description of operation with respect to block diagram. Description of operation with respect to block diagram. That means how this pulse radar can be designed. See the first block diagram. From the first block diagram, can you understand what is this block diagram? It is nothing but your, what is this? CW radar. Okay. This block diagram belonging to CW radar. This block diagram belongs to CW radar. Transmitting section, we are having a CW translator. And in the receiving section, we have a receiver, nothing but a mixer, which mixes these two and produces a peak frequency or Doppler frequency and it is the indicator, a pair of devices to indicate the Doppler information. Now, see here, we are taking the pulse Doppler with Doppler, pulse radar with Doppler information. That means the transmitting section of pulse radar and the receiving section of this CW radar, what I am saying, transmitting section of 
pulse radar transmitting section of pulse radar plus receiving section of transmitting section of pulse radar and receiving section of CW radar is equal to pulse Doppler radar okay transmitting section of pulse radar plus receiving section of CW radar is equal to pulse Doppler radar see this see this carefully This is the transmitting section. Transmitting section of which radar? If you go back and see the first block diagram of the pulse radar system, this is the pulse radar system block diagram where we are having a continuous wave pulse transmitter and modulator. Okay, so the modulated signal will be going and transmitted to the free space. There we have identified, we were able to identify only moving tar stationary targets, but here we are concentrating on moving targets. So whenever we are uh, a moving target is occurred, the signal touches and again reflect, reflected back. <clears throat> now that reflected signal will be having a frequency that is Ft plus or minus Fd. <clears throat> so the received signal is passing through receiver mixer. The first stage is mixer. See, see the receiving section of the CW radar and compare with this. This is the receiving section of CW radar. Receiving section of CW radar. So receiving section of CW radar is having receiver followed by indicator. Here also we are taking the same receiver followed by indicator. Okay. So pulse Doppler radar is designed by taking the transmitting section of pulse radar and receiving section of CW radar. It is the pulse Doppler radar. Okay, then it gives the Doppler information. Hope you understand. Okay, so how the PDR is uh, designed? So pulse Doppler radar is created from pulse radar plus CW radar. How? Transmitting section of why I am saying this many times it is very important. Transmitting section of pulse radar plus that implies transmitting section of pulse radar plus uh, receiving section of receiving section of CW radar is equal to pulse doppler radar complete pulse doppler radar okay doppler information can be calculated using this pulse doppler radar okay so this is what the pulse Doppler radar and the introduction of MTA radar. MTA radar is moving target indicator. MTA radar is having a different uh, set of uh, block diagrams. So I will tell you in the next videos. Okay. So this is how the new radars are coming into existence, uh, are coming into existence because of the drawbacks of existing radar systems. Okay. Thank you.